Heidi, hi, and good morning. Just I am in Eska. Just started. Going to be doing the Harriet Way. Cue music. <laughs> um, yeah, just started. Uh, found the track finally, and. Um, it's, uh, I've got, I'm walking to Hawes today, which is just over the 12 mile mark. With the late start, it's not that great, but unfortunately I had a few things I had to take care of this morning before we set off. And it's, um, although it's only 51 miles from home, it is a long drive, about an hour and three quarters or something stupid like that, because little country lanes. Anyway, I shall head on and, um, See uh, another hour and I'll be stopping for lunch. Oh, look, this was someone's driveway. Almost missed it. Walked past it once before. Just walking along a wee stream there next to it. I don't know if you can see it between the bushes. Hung here. Very bit of a black cloud up there, but we'll see. I'm through a couple of fields. Now I'm going along a lane. Um, still early into it. I'm trying to make sure I put a reasonable pace on as well. It's all very uh, green and lush. North Yorkshire Dales. There you go. I'm using two sticks now. I used two sticks every day when I went up the Lake District. So um, I'm getting used to this, holding the second stick. At first it was a bit strange. Oh, by the way, my packways. <laughs> Although I've got no tent or um, uh, sleeping bag or anything like that in it. I mean, pack's weighing in at uh, 12 kilo. Um, four and a half kilo of that is actually food. Because I've got my food for the next four days and three nights. Staying in hostels, um, but I'm not buying my food. I might buy something on the last day, maybe, because oh, it's got some falls coming up here. Uh, it's to save money, really, and I'm trying to stay uh, keto, which I've been struggling to get back into, which I have to, because I can't get back into my trousers. <laughs> I just had to walk down the, this road for a stretch. Now for a country road, it's damn busy and the cars drive damn fast. Anyway, coming off road again. Now I'm going over this bridge over the river. Looks very pretty, that's for sure. There's the river. Stream and that's how I get across. My first thought when I saw them was, Oh, <laughs> right. While well, the sun's out, I'm going to stop having my lunch. I've only done a couple of miles, it's going to be a long day. You know, broken down wall, I'm going to sit down here. All oh, right, another thing I need to clarify <laughs> when I said, Well. Food waste four and a half kilo. It's not just solely food. That included my my um, brew kit and everything else. Because uh, well, I'm staying in hostels. I'll be probably more than likely wanting to brew a cup of tea as I go along. So um, I bought that as well. So yeah, with that and the food, it's um, what should we call it? About four and a half kilo. Anyway, I hope you're getting rid of some of that now because I'm going to have lunch. Right, this is what I'll be having for lunch. I've got the folding cup, the big one. I'm going to use that as a bowl. And I'll be putting some one of these packets of olives. And one of these packets of tuna. Uh, this one's with lime and black pepper dressing. I quite like that one. Put in a few spits of rain and some grated cheese, which I bought from home pre grated. 
Right, I'm at the youth hostel in Hawes and uh, this has got eight bunks in it so someone is in one of them all these others are empty so I've taken this one down here put my hat on my bed that's where my home is uh, got a bit damp at the end but I'm going to go down and uh, make a nice cup of tea and then cook me something to eat and then I'll, I shall have a hot shower a bit later on I think The kitchen, three stoves, two fridges, cups, pots and pans, rubbish, hello, hi, so tonight I have chipolatas, mushrooms and powdered eggs and some cheese that didn't have lunch time. Um, it's a long time since I've cooked an electric hob and have gas at home, so it takes a while to heat up. Mm.